Good afternoon. Right, here is your key rack challenge and activity. <clears throat> it's for cubs, scouts and explorers, but we'll be mainly doing it for cubs today. What you will need for your key rack, you need a piece of wood, thus, six hooks. I unfortunately I haven't got any hooks, so we'll have to use nails or screws today. Yeah, and a piece of string, which you can hang it up with afterwards. Okay, tools that you'll be requiring. You've got a saw, which is there. We've got two saws there, a large one and a small one. We've got a tape measure or a ruler, pencil, hammer, a screwdriver if you're using the screws. And we've also got a piece of sandpaper to smooth it down afterwards. So, our pe Okay, so next we need to get our tape measure and measure our piece of wood. As you can see there, six inches. Yep, mark it, mark it with your pencil, like so. And get your ruler, put it down and mark your line at that measurement. Okay, then, we're going to use the saw. Now obviously you need to be very careful with saws because they're very sharp. So I suggest that cubs, you ask an adult to help you. But <clears throat> for now, I'll just clamp this to the bench like that. We take our saw, put it on the line, and then we'll start to cut our piece of wood. Like I say, it is quite difficult, so you might need to ask an adult to help you. What? Go. Okay, so once we've cut it with our saw, we'll put that back on the bench, and then we have our two bits. This bit we don't need anymore, we can put that over to one side, and this bit is going to be your key rack. Now as you can see, it is still a little bit rough at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our bit of sandpaper, Yep, and we're just going to give it a good sand down to get rid of all the roughness that's on the wood. As you can see, it's taking it down quite nicely. We'll give it a good sand all round. It won't take too long, a couple of minutes. Making sure to do the edges so they're nice and round so there's no sharp edges on it at all. You want to get it nice and smooth. We're not going to get any splinters while we're handling it. So go all round. Just to make sure. That it's nice and smooth. And it looks nice, as you can see there. Nice and smooth. No chances of getting any splinters. Go. Okay, so now we've got our nicely sanded bit of wood. What we're going to do now is we're just going to mark where we want to put our hooks or our nails so we can hang our keys up. <clears throat> so if we mark, <coughs> mark them roughly at 30 centimetres, 30, 60, 90, 120, so that's 3, 6, 9 and 12 centimetres, then we'll know roughly where our nails need to go. So we've got our tape back. Now then, I haven't got any hooks, so today I'm going to be using some nails, which I've found lying around the house. So we just take one of these, yeah, with our hammer, put it on the mark, and just gently tap them in. Like that. They don't need to go all the way in, just partly in, so you've got enough room for you, mum and dad, brothers and sisters, to hang their keys up. So put those in, all four, like that. And if we turn it over we can see that they're pretty much all level, so we can leave them as that. 
<coughs> and that'll be fine to do your thing. The next thing we need to do, we need to put a couple of eyelets in here, which is what I've got here, and our string, so we can hang it up once we've finished. Okay, so what we'll do with our nail, one of our nails, if we just make a little hole, just a couple of taps, just to start them off, yeah, and pull the nail out again. We'll do the same at the other end, like that. Obviously, we can pull the nails out. Now, these are a little bit fiddly, but they should screw in fairly easily. Just pop it in the hole and twist, and they'll start to go in. Just like that. <coughs> and then we'll do the same on the other end. Pop it in. And screw them in just like that. And that'll be fine. Now you've got your eyes on the top there. So we can put a bit of string in it so we can hang it up. So. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to cut our bit of string. As you can see, I've already cut my piece of string here at 30 centimetres using our scissors. Now obviously be careful with scissors because they can be sharp. So now once we've got our piece of string, we'll pop our, our tape out of the way. And we can tie it onto the top. Obviously, just go through your eye on the top. And tie a simple little overhand knot like that. Okay, and then we can do the same on the other end. We go through the eye. And again, tie it with a little overhand knot like that. Nice and tight. <coughs> so then with our scissors, we can just trim off the excess string. Do the same on the other end. Like so. And there we have our key rack. Now then, if you wanted to, you could get some felt tips and some pencils. Or you could maybe even write keys on the top. And obviously you can then decorate them however you want. Felt tips, maybe paint if your parents have got some lying about. But that's the basic <coughs> idea. Quite straightforward, just be careful with the tools. Go. Okay, so as you've seen we've got our little key rack there. Ideal for cubs, fairly easy and straightforward. Scouts and explorers, you can be a bit more elaborate. So I've got two different pieces of wood here. I've just drawn a rough outline of a key on them. Yeah, so what you could do is, <clears throat> if you've got one at home, is to uh, get an electric jigsaw, which I shall get in just a second, and then we can cut these out, and then you can finish them in a similar way to these ones are. Right. Okay, so Scouts and Explorers, like I was saying, we're going to try and cut out one of these shapes with an electric jigsaw, like so. So what we'll need to do, obviously you need to be very careful when you're using electric tools, but I'll just use this clamp and fix it to the bench. Now it's gonna be quite noisy, but you should hopefully be able to see what we're aiming to get at the end of it. So here we go. So as you can see now, we've got a rough key shape there. Obviously, like we did with the, uh, the earlier ones, we grab our bit of sandpaper. We can just give it a good sand down. Yeah, try and get rid of all the splinters and the rough edges. Obviously, round them off on the edges so we don't. <coughs> so it's nice and smooth. All the way round. Yeah. 
And when we get to the top bits on here, we can just sand them down a bit as well, just so they're not sharp. And then obviously, once it's all sanded down, you can do a similar thing to how we done the earlier one. Just mark on four where you're going to put four nails. Yep, yeah, hammer them in. And then if you want to, you can put a couple of eyes, similar to what we've done on here, on the top. Just have a bit of string, then it will hang up accordingly. And if you wish to decorate it, you can. Right, well have fun, stay safe, and hopefully we'll get some nice pictures uploaded of some nice key racks. Thanks for watching.